my dear students in this tutorial i'll be discussing about the value of root text on number line that is when i say root text it can be any number for example root 3 root 2 root 6 root 6.3 root 9.3 whatever it may be but we have to find out the value of the root of the given number using the number line and we have to build up the concept based on pythagoras theorem and the number line number line is represented like this let us draw a number line okay and take this as a ray now we have to get the line segment so for the line segment let me call that is 1 2 6 as x so point a point b let me call this as x x means it can be any number so the first one is i have given already some instruction you can straight away follow this that is the first one is draw a line segment with ab as x okay right so x is the given number for example if you want to find out the square root of 9.3 means you have to consider 9.3 as x do you understand so you have to take 9.3 i have taken 6 as my number and that is why i have taken 6 units this units can be in centimeter or inches whatever it may be but you have to maintain i will discuss about the scale later now let us go to the second step in the second step what we are supposed to do you have to already we have already drawn here that is ab is equal to x and add one unit or able follow one unit you had add that is 1 cm you can take so let me take i already taken 6 plus 1 that is 7 is it not so mark this as 7 plus 1 i have taken and mark this as c okay right now you know very well that is from here to here it is x plus 1 is it not x plus 1 ab is what is that ab ab is x ac is equal to x plus 1 is it clear okay so we have completed step 2 what is the step 2 that is you have to draw plus 1 that is take plus 1 that is c so ac is equal to x plus 1 is it clear right now let us take the midpoint of x plus 1 how to take the midpoint of x plus 1 for example let me consider o is the midpoint of x plus 1 means that is x plus 1 divided by 2 that is the midpoint how to take the midpoint for which you can take the compass always keep a smaller pencil not so length like this you should not be long like this and uh, the length of the pencil should be very short it should be like this only it should be shorter than the arm of the what do you call this compass okay so you can cut later right and then you have to fix the pencil like this you keep it in a flat flat surface okay in a flat surface and okay keep it vertical and tighten it 
right now when you look at this okay it should be flat equal are able follow clear right now i have to take the midpoint of ac means above the midpoint of ac it can be like this take an arc or one or two okay and take the compass do not change the radius of the arc got it now don't use the pencil which is uh, mounted on the what do you call compass okay so don't use this pencil you can use a separate pencil and you have got this arc and another arc okay so the intersection of two arcs so you can draw the midpoint between these two okay right and that is the exact midpoint you can label this as o therefore o is equal to what that is ac by 2 which is nothing but x plus 1 divided by 2 got this point is it clear okay so what is o we have identified the midpoint of ac which is nothing but x plus 1 so ao is equal to what which is nothing but ac by 2 that is x plus 1 whole divided by 2 is it clear right now i have completed this step this step and this step okay now what we are supposed to do draw a semicircle with o as a center okay draw a semicircle with o as a center and o a radius got it so take this and keep it like this this is o a okay o a please check and when you fix the compass you should be exactly at the same point okay don't change it o a is equal to o c okay so i can draw a semicircle like this right don't do like this when you draw any arc don't do multiple times like this right okay now i have drawn a semicircle like this and then i have to uh, what is the radius of this uh, semicircle oa is the radius of the semicircle is it not so if you want you can mention what is the radius of the semicircle r that is nothing but oa got it so this oa is equal to oc is it not being the midpoint right okay now let us draw a vertical line you cannot take a vertical line or a perpendicular line like this using the scale okay that will give you some problem better you can take your s squares take down take that s squares or you can take the protractor or you can take the adopt the compass technique so i will tell you how to do with the protractor and the same using the S squares also. No, that one. Uh, triangle one. Yeah. Take that one. Okay. So you can adopt three methods. I will teach you the first method. So you can fix like this. So we want to draw a perpendicular line from B to AC. Is it clear? Right. So fix it tightly like this. Okay and you take the square okay keep it and go like this okay you can move and thereby you can draw a simple vertical line leave it and take this draw so this is one method clear do you understand this so this will be exactly how much that is 90 degree you can check with the protractor also whether it is 90 degree or not okay take this it's perfect 90 degree right and you can also adopt another technique so you can keep this protractor along ac 
and fix the midpoint at B and uh, you can mark that is uh, 90 degree here and you can connect like this also. So you can adopt both method. There is one more method using simply compass you can get the perpendicularity I will teach you later. Okay. Right. Now we have this D. We can mark this as D. So now you can join O and D. Right. So OD is the radius of the semicircle. OC is also the radius of the semicircle. OA is also the radius of the semicircle. Do you understand this clearly? Right. And then now OD is this is also equal to OD. Okay. Now this is perpendicular. Okay. You take once again the compass. Okay. So now let us go through the instructions. So I have drawn the perpendicular line at B to AC. So we have drawn. So we have got the BD that is perpendicular to AC. Now this BD is declared as a root text. Okay. This is very, very important. So you can mark this as a root text. Okay. So what is BD? The BD is root text. Okay. Right. And what you can do is draw an arc. Eighth point, eighth step, draw an arc BE with BD as radius. So BD as the radius. Are you able to follow? BD as the radius. You have to draw an arc on what? This AC. Okay, this line. Okay, right. Let us do that. So BD as the radius. I fixed here okay right now I can draw an arc along what the AC and mark this as E got it now you know very well since I have taken O I mean ED BD as the radius and draw an arc are able to follow you check once again so that BD Okay, and B. So B D is equal to B. Am I right? Okay. So here B D is equal to B E. Now can you tell me which is the number line? A E is the number line. Are you able to follow? So in the A E is the number line. Since B D is equal to B E, and this is also this B also equal to root x. Are you able to follow? Now we have drawn root x on the number line with O B as the origin. Are you able to follow? So now you can declare that is B E is the root x value. So when you measure that, you will get that. For example, I have taken 6 as the x. So you take this. So this is around 2.5 something, is it not? 2.4 something, okay? Now what is the value of root x? Let us work out the value of root 6. What is the value of root 6? Root 2.44, that is roughly 2.5, okay? Are you listening? So the value of root 6 is how much 2.44 is it not so 2.44 now you can check b should be how much exactly 2.44 got it so this is the way you have to find out the value of the given root that is root 6 in this case i have taken 6 so likewise you can take the value of root of 9.3, root of 6.3, root of 5, root of 2, root of 3 for any value within our limitations. Okay. So are you able to understand? Is it clear? Now I will tell you something about the verification also. You may ask me one question that is sir whether BD is the root x? Yes BD is also root x 
whether b is root x yes because we are taken the same radius to draw the r why i insist the b as the root x value because in the question they will ask uh, draw the root x value on the number line so in this case starting b as the origin you can prove that are able follow so you had to how many steps we have we have first step draw the ab with the x second step x plus 1 third step midpoint fourth step draw semicircle and next point draw a perpendicular line and declare this perpendicular length as root x and make an arc with that and draw on the number line and you can declare that be as the root x so this is the sum this is clear okay 